Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be solving another math problem. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell button to be updated for our future uploads. This will be our third math problem. And the problem goes like this. Two trains are running in the same direction on two parallel tracks. The trains are 85 meters and 65 meters long, and running at 120 km per hour and 240 km per hour respectively. If the trail end of the first train is 210 meters ahead of the front end of the second train, determine the following. First is the time required for the front end of the second train to reach the tail end of the first train. Second is the distance traveled by the second train from the initial position when it has completely overtaken the first train. And the last one is the distance traveled by the first train from the initial position until front ends of the two trains abreast each other. Now to solve these, we will further illustrate the problem, and we will call the first and second train as train A and train B. In the initial position, we know that the distance between the trail end of the first train and the front end of the second train is 210 meters. The length of the train A and train B are 85 meters and 65 meters, respectively. And the velocity of the train A is 120 km per hour or 33.33 meters per second and the velocity of the train B is 240 km per hour or 66.67 meters per second. DA will be the distance traveled by the train A from the initial position to the final position, and also DB will be the distance traveled by the train B from the initial position to the final position. Now going back to the first question that is to find for the time required for the front end of the second train to reach the tail end of the first train. Based from the illustration, we can say that 65 meters, plus 210 meters, plus the distance covered by the train A from the initial position to the final position is equals to the distance covered by the train B from the initial position to the final position, plus 65 meters. And we have the basic formula, distance is equals to velocity multiplied by the time. And then we will substitute this to the equation. 65 meters will cancel out and the new equation is 210 meters, plus velocity A, multiply by the time A, equals to velocity B, multiply by the time B. And since the time of the train A and train B in which they both arrive from the initial position to the final position is equal, thus we can say that time T, is equals to time A and then equals to time B. And we have 210 meters, plus 33.33 times T is equals to 66.67 times T. Solving the equation, we have time t is equals to 6.3 seconds. This means that at 6.3 seconds after the initial position, the front end of the second train reaches the tail end of the first train. Moving on to the next question, that is to find the distance traveled by the second train from the initial position when it has completely overtaken the first train. To do that, we will first solve for the time when the second train from the initial position has completely overtaken the first train. And we can say that 65 meters, plus 210 meters, plus the distance traveled by the train A, plus 85 meters is equals to the distance traveled by the train B. Again, substituting the distance with the velocity multiplied by the time, we have 360 meters, plus velocity A, multiplied by the time A is equals to velocity B, multiplied by the time B. And since the time of the train A and train B in which they both arrive from the initial position to the final position is equal. The equation becomes 360 meters, plus 33.33 times T is equals to 66.67 times T. Calculate for the value of time T, we have time equals to 10.8 seconds. And then to solve for the distance traveled by the second train, we have distance B is equals to velocity B, 66.67 meters per second, multiplied by the time B, 10.8 seconds. And then this gives us a value of 720 meters. Moving on to the last problem, that is to find the distance traveled by the first train from the initial position until front ends of the two trains abreast each other. Same process with the previous question, first, we will solve for the time when the front ends of the two trains abreast each other. To do that, we have the equation, 65 meters, plus 210 meters, plus the distance traveled by the train A, 
plus 85 meters is equals to the distance traveled by the train B, plus 65 meters. Substituting again the distance with the velocity multiplied by the time of each train, the equation becomes 295 meters, plus velocity A, multiplied by the time A is equals to velocity B, multiplied by the time B. And since the time of the train A and train B in which they both arrive from the initial position to the final position is equal. The equation becomes 295 meters, plus 33.33 times t is equals to 66.67 times t, this gives us a value of time t equals to 8.85 seconds. And then solving for the distance traveled by the first train, we have distance A is equals to velocity A, 33.33 meters per second, multiplied by the time A, 8.85 seconds. And then this gives us a value of 295 meters. And that's it for this video. Please help this channel by liking this video and to be updated for our future uploads, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button.